happy almost Valentine's Day this morning. You know, speaking of, we're actually 24 hours away from Valentine's Day now, and if you're still looking for a way to celebrate, Ellen Taylor has a spot that will definitely tempt your taste buds. She is at Wheelhouse in Woodenville um, with, a, with an award-winning chef and what looks like an award-winning dessert as well. Oh. Ellen, hi. I mean, the food has been amazing, the space is amazing, and so you eat your food and now you want some dessert. Actually, let me show you some of these desserts already that are on the menu at Wheelhouse. Um, yum. Chef Pierre, what am I looking, what's this dessert right here that we're looking at? That is our pear galette with ube ice cream from Full Tilt. Blueberry ice cream, and then this is bread pudding. Bread pudding with huckleberry uh, compote. That's very small, but speaking of small, this is a very small piece of Chocolate cake? That is our chocolate cake, yes, with caramel popcorn. No big deal. Just a little piece of cake. Absolutely. No big deal. Um, but Chef Pierre credits these desserts to pastry chef Brandy, and we got the spiced rum cake. Uh, let's talk about your creation here. How do we even make it? I know we can't make an entire cake yeah. in two minutes, <laughs> right? Course, but let, let's kind of go through with the ingredients and Absolutely. how can we make this at home? I can quickly run through it with you. So um, usually you'd want to use an electric mixer at home, but I can just show you the basics real quick on yep. how to do it. Um, the recipe, I believe, is going to be posted online. Yes, q13fox.com slash Ellen. You know. So you're going to start with your sugar mm -hmm. and your butter, which you want your butter to be softened to um, at least to room temperature. Um, I like to go a little softer, but for this segment, you know, I didn't really get a, a chance to. That's okay. To that point, Chef, where do you come up with the, the inspiration for something like this? Because, I mean, this is a bunt cake, right? But obviously you've like leveled it up. Right, right. Well, I, um, you know, I kind of just like to go online and, and go through Pinterest. I'm gonna and scooch through on over this way, sorry. Uh, it, recipes that I see online that I really like. And so I like that you said that because this pastry chef gets on Pinterest just like the normal people do <laughs> to make it happen. How do you, would you say, because this looks beautiful, would you say that a beginner could actually make this using your recipe that we'll post online. Oh, absolutely. This is actually a very, very simple recipe. It's almost just a, a vanilla cake recipe, but you're adding rum to it and uh, a few extra okay. spices. Um, so once you uh, get all your, your butter and sugar mixed together, which I'm not gonna get to that point here, yeah. but um, you're gonna wanna get it creamy and fluffy. Then you're gonna add your spices. It's baking powder, baking soda, salt, some nutmeg and some cinnamon. And then you're also gonna wanna add your flour into it. Easy. Simple as that. And you would get that all mixed up. Which would obviously be easier to do with like an electric mixer Again, instead of. electric mixer. If you had softer butter to begin with, it would mix um, easier by hand. But, um, you And know, this is for the cake itself, but let's maybe we can fast forward. Absolutely. We got the magic of television. Look at that. The cake yeah. is magically <laughs> made. Uh, you would add in the butter, the butter milk, um, one egg at a time, just to let you know on that. Uh, you're going to bake that off at 300. You want it at a low temperature to make sure that it doesn't over bake and you get a nice golden brown. Um, and then you're going to make the glaze. The glaze is powdered sugar, some cream cheese, cheese. rum, which rum. is the most important ingredient. Yes. Um, and then some whole milk. So once you get the cake made, I use these mini bundt cake, uh, you know, little uh, forms. Sure. Got them at Home Goods. They're like four dollars each. Super easy. Home Me. Goods, Pinterest. Girl, you are speaking <laughs> our language. Let's style this up. Let's yeah. make this pretty. What do we put in there? So the glaze that I made with the powdered sugar and the rum and the um, all the, the good milk stuff and all the good stuff. I just put it in a squeeze bottle. You just drizzle it on. And then I made some candied oranges, which you basically just boil your oranges in a simple syrup and then dry them out. And once they're dried out, you Ugh. roll them in sugar. And it and looks chop them up. pretty. Like, you style it that way. Yeah. And then you get from here to you there the to lines. there. I'll put uh, her recipe up on our website, q13fox.com. Look, she makes it look so easy. And then I even top there it off with a couple of Meyer lemons that I candied as well. Ugh. Add a little mint sprig for Done. some color. And your Valentine and will you love go. you forever. Or you can just come and eat her cooking here at Wheelhouse. Again, that recipe open our website, q13fox.com slash Ellen. Guys, back on over to you. It looks delicious, Ellen, thank you. So ahead this morning, we've got